this. Follow along and see how we did it. Monday morning here in Florida and I'm at my little lake house working on this backyard here we're gonna try to get I got it's kind of marked out some little paths that are gonna come up through here a little cut through path there and then another path along over there uh, coming down from the deck and uh, right today we're gonna do some experiments and just pour probably three little stepping stones through here to kind of give a little invite uh, to climb up this ladder to hang out on uh, our little hangout spot we call it the kids like to go sit up there with their girlfriends or, or whatever and hang out and then we have uh, cushions that go on here for this little swingy bench thing that I made so it's a pretty cool place to hang out and uh, so today, if you're interested, stay tuned. We're going to be pouring some little concrete. We're going to use some glass beads and some rocks and do kind of an exposed aggregate. Never done it before, so it'll be an experiment for me. Anyways, welcome to the shack, and let's get going. All right, I'm just getting off this top layer of all this organic material. Basically just roots, and I'm going to get down to this this nice sand It'll have to pack down real nice and that is probably more than a bag of concrete right there that's my little spot I'm probably gonna do I'll just do two more one and then one like right here and the path is gonna be running by right in through here so like right in there I'll do a little step so say hey step through here all right so i got my three little spots dug so it'll be like one two three up the stairs so it'll make a nice little little path through here you're gonna have to beat away some palmettos but uh all right so i got all the big roots out there's a big root right through here on the second one that's probably coming from this tree so i don't want to mess with that so we're just going to pour right on top and if the things move they move over time as the roots grow and stuff who cares i am sweating butt off Ooh. all right it's got to be about 150 percent humidity right now all right, so here are the tools that we're gonna be using here. It is blazing hot out here, so we have set up in the beautiful shade here in our backyard. We're gonna be using 80 pound bags of the high strength concrete from Quickcrete, just the basic. I think it says 4,500 PSI once it's all done and settled. Um, we got these rocks that uh, I used all around my landscape and around the house that we're gonna use to embed into it on the top to do like an exposed aggregate. Um, I'm gonna try using these, which are just these cheap mini blind or the large blind, um, vertical blind uh, replacement pieces that I got at Lowe's for like 21 bucks for a set of, I think there's 10 in here. And I'll show you how we wrap those around. I'm just gonna be using some high strength duct tape to hold that together. Got some gloves. I got some colorant that make gonna make the concrete darker. It's charcoal gray. Not sure if I'm gonna use that or not. And some WD-40 just to blast my mold, just to help get it out. All right, so here's a quick shot of the materials. We're gonna be sifting out our rocks with that. These are the rocks. And then I got all these glass beads that we might be sprinkling a little of those on there too for a little bling bling. All right, Gavin, are you excited? He's excited. All right, so we're using this big mixing tub. Kind of 
to breathe that in, Gavin. Two, three quarts. I don't want to just. So you don't want to. I don't like putting in with just the hose because it'll. I'd rather it be a little thicker than thinner. What you'll find is if you mix it, and all of a sudden it'll be ready. Alright, so I'm just using these vertical blind things to uh, make little forms. So, what's kind of cool about it is it's super free form. So, I'm just kind of going to lock it in here. I could kind of even cut around this, that, uh, this root right here. I think I'm going to sacrifice this one. You know, these are just stepping stones so it doesn't don't have to get too crazy with it being level or anything and then I'll just go in and this will kind of just get back the cut just cut some scissors real nice I don't even need to even really even tape these but I'm just using some of this heavy duty duct tape. Oh man, is it hot. And then it should be reusable where we can just reuse these for different spots. I don't really want these things to be round. I want them to be kind of regular shaped, so. Yeah, All right, more concrete. Okay, hopefully you can see this well. And uh, I've got all these glass beads here. And I've got, I've got this, I've got this rock that I've been using all around my house. So I think what I'm gonna do is put the kind of rocks through the sides and then the glass kind of through the middle like a little river. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put some rocks. I just wash these so they're nice and washed. And these guys here, they do have a flat side, 
and a dome side. So I think I'm going to actually place these in. Dome side up. Free out. Doing a few on the edges here. Go with this darker blue. Alright, I think I think that's gonna be about it. Now I'm just going to take this guy here, I'm just going to start and This is just like when you go in your bathtub, you know, the you're going to start displacing this so it's going to actually get taller. overflowing over here. So one thing on your forms, make sure that you have a little room because as you're adding all this stuff, you know, the, it's going to rise up just like when you get into a bathtub. All right, so we're about an hour after here, after the pour, and uh, just waiting for them to cure up a little more. They're still a little shiny, and probably about another hour or so. I'm gonna wait. I think this will be pretty nice when you're, when you're like do 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 coming down this path. You go, oh, what's this? Like, oh, it'll be kind of, it's kind of going to lead you to it. So, it should be cool. Edges over. I guess I wasn't really expecting the white stones. Yeah, they really are. Uh, look at the other one. It's really white. Yeah. I'm trying not to hit hit it with fast pressure here just just enough to expose it I think that's it. All 
All right, so these have to cure still. They're just only a few hours old, but it looks pretty good. I've cleaned up all that around, all that stuff that washed off. But overall, that's pretty neat. If some of them wash out here and there, that's all right, I guess. I don't know if you can see that, but these guys are running these little RC boats over there. I don't know what people are doing on a Monday that they get to go run their RC boats instead of working. I guess I'm not working today either, technically, so. Looks like fun. All right, so just finished this up. Looks pretty good. I reset that one back there, raised it up about two, two inches which I kind of hate to do because they never seem to seat down as well as uh, when you pour it in place. But uh, added some pine bark nuggets, which will just blend in with the rest, and then it just kind of invites you to go up the stairs. Oh boy, look at that. I got myself a rotted out step. I never even noticed that though, just now. I'm gonna have to fix that. All right. Anyways, guys. Try it for yourself. It was a real fun project. And I really like the way it came out. So don't hesitate. Give it a shot. Peace.